So today we're looking at the bunker, the sand pit. We're looking at the five best tips I can give you to make you more successful from the bunker. So tip number one, it's all about the stance. Now why commonly sees people who stand to a bunker shot and stand pretty much like they would do a chip shot. They stand with a narrow stance, a square club face, uh, and sometimes they might stand with a dodgy alignment, but let's just talk about the basics here for the start with. They start with the club face, very square, narrow stance, weight very even, and they try and just kind of nurse the ball off, off, off the sand. Now what you notice with most good bunker players is they stand a hell of a lot further away from the golf ball. I'm standing almost like I would do for a driver shot, that kind of distance. My width of stance is wider than anything else that I will have. So it's wider than the driver stance. I'll also point both toes out. This gives me stability. The width helps me have a, what we call a shallow angle attack, which means I scoop the ball a bit more out of the sand. I'm actually gonna hit down on the sand, but behind the ball. So the, basically the club will shallow as it goes through the shot but I wanna make sure that I've got that kind of U-shaped swing going on that makes me move the sand in the direction of the flag. I also wanna feel that my weight is 60 to 65% on this lead foot and almost position my lead knee in the same direction as the lead foot being spanned open. So this kind of wide stance, low handle, and a long way from the golf ball. That is what I'm looking for in the stance. That's your tip number one. Tip number two is ball position. So I'll just draw a line there. That ball is positioned fractionally left of my center of my stance. I wanna make sure I don't get that ball too forward or too far back. Too far forward means I have to hit it with an awful lot of speed because the amount of sand I'll be taking will be great and it means that basically the ball's gonna have no friction, so no spin. It's gonna release. If you're looking to play that chunk and run, having the ball more forward, is a good idea. If you're looking at the ball to have a bit of check or purchase, have the ball literally a couple of inches ahead of the center of the stance with the set we've already talked about and that'll get us good contact and the right amount of sand to get friction. Tip number three is the handle position. Again, far too many golfers have the handle forward in the bunker. We wanna see the handle also in this line I've drawn for my ball position. So the handle will be behind the golf ball. And we basically position the handle and take our grip after we open the club face. So the club face is gonna be pointing, let's say 30 to 40 degrees to the right of the target. I will then retake my grip so the face stays open. And the fact that I have my hands lower and there's so much loft in the face means the ball will not spin to the right if I execute it correctly. So we want the wide stance, the handle back, the ball slightly forward and the pressure on the lead foot. Last thing we're going to talk about is, or the last two things we're going to talk about, there's one that's going to be more a hitting mechanism and tip number four is more about the alignment. Again, lots of golfers when they set in the bunker set very open, swing across the golf ball and what that does, it creates what we call an angled bounce. So if I hit across the ball, I'm only using this part of the club. That's not what I want. I want to use the all of the sole. I want to basically make sure the club is working this way to use all of the sole. And also I don't want to create unwanted side spin. The third thing around that swinging across the ball, I get a lot of toey strikes. So the ball comes off with very little energy. So if I'm trying to hit a super, super tiny shot, sometimes it's a good idea to off the toe, but it has huge risks. I want you to stand as you would do for any other golf shot, parallel to your ball to target line with the face open the handle back. Now, the fifth tip is all about what we do with the sand. Now, I want you to think about taking a nice big square of sand, whacking that sand with huge speed at the flag, in the direction of the flag. We don't want that sand to be going left of the flag or right of the flag. If we are, right of the flag is a better option. But we wanna really try and think we're moving that sand at the flag, that is the goal and we need to hit it hard. I'd rather you be too hard than trying to tickle these shots out. As long as you're hitting the sand, the ball won't come out with too much energy. Let's try a shot. So we got the wide stance, toes out, the ball position just left the center, the face very open, the hands behind the golf ball. We're gonna try and swing and move that sand in the direction of the hole. And a pretty good shot there. 
went fractionally too hard, but apart from that, I was really, really happy with it. That is the template to make you a successful bunker player. Be aggressive, get the stance and set right, and allow your swing to flourish. Be further away from the ball, allow your swing to have that kind of slightly natural, more rounded arc, and we'll hit the sand before the ball, and we'll splash it onto the green every time. And that makes you a better bunker player. So thanks for watching the five tips on the bunker play. Please like the video and share the video if you've enjoyed it. Please also check out the rest of the videos in this particular series on the five best tips. Also, please post comments or questions down below. YouTube love this kind of stuff. If you subscribe while watching the video or like the video or comment in the video, they see the video is very good and more successful, more popular, and they help to share it for me, which means I can devote more energy and time to doing YouTube stuff, which obviously hopefully helps you guys.